Hi, welcome back to engineeringtalks.com. In the previous videos, we went through the analysis of trusses using the method of joint and method of section. Today, I have come with the topic analysis of pin jointed frames or trusses using the method of tension coefficient. So, happy learning and please do subscribe the channel. This method of tension coefficient is nothing but an extension of method of joint to three dimensional problems. That is, we can analyze the space trusses using the method of coefficient. So, in this, we consider a tension coefficient T in a member such that T is equal to force in that member, that is, the tensile force in that member divided by the length of the member. So, TAB, that is the tension coefficient in a member AB, can be defined as FAB, that is a pull or tension in the member AB divided by the length of the member AB. And we know that FAB is equal to FBA. So, TAB will be equal to TBA. Now, we will see how we can apply this method of tension coefficient for finding out the forces in the members. Let us consider a member AB like this which is oriented at an angle of theta x comma ab with the x axis and theta y comma ab with the y axis. Let lab be the length of the member ab and fab be the tensile force in the member ab. Now the length lab of this member ab can be found out by using this equation that is lab is equal to root of xb minus xa the whole square plus yb minus ya the whole square and cos of theta x comma ab will be equal to xb minus xa by lab right. So the component of the force fab in the x direction will be equal to fab cos theta x comma ab which is equal to fab into xb minus xa by lab because cos of theta x comma ab is equal to xb minus xa by lab. We know that the tension coefficient is equal to the force in the member divided by the length of the member. So, FAB by LAB will be equal to TAB. Therefore, FAB cos theta x comma AB that is the component of the force FAB in the x direction will be equal to TAB into XB minus XA. Similarly, we can get the value of the Y component of the force FAB as well. So, the component of the force Yab in the y direction will be equal to Fab cos theta y comma Ab. Now, cos of theta y comma Ab will be equal to Yb minus Ya divided by Lab. Therefore, Fab cos theta y comma Ab is equal to Fab into Yb minus Ya by Lab. Now, Fab by Lab is Tab. So, this will be equal to TAB into YB minus YA where TAB is the tension coefficient in the member AB. So, the Y component of the force FAB is TAB into YB minus YA whereas the X component of the force FAB is TAB into XB minus XA. So, this is how we express the X and Y components of a force in terms of tension coefficient. Consider a joint like this. This is joint A where Xa and Ya are the externally applied loads or the reactions and Fab and Fac are the forces in the members Ab and Ac. So, for analyzing this particular joint, we have to consider the equilibrium of the forces along X direction and Y direction. So, first let us consider the equilibrium of the forces along X direction. So, summation Fx will be equal to 0. Now, along x direction, we have a force xa and x components of the forces fab and fac. x component of the force fab will be equal to tab into xb minus xa, whereas the x component of the force fac will be equal to tac into xc minus xa. So, xa plus tab into xb minus xa plus tac into xc minus xa will be equal to 0. Now, considering the equilibrium of the forces along y direction, we get summation Fy equal to 0. So, along y direction, we have a force Ya and the y components of the forces Fab and Fac. Y component of the force Fab will be equal to Tab into Yb minus Ya, whereas the y component of the force Fac will be equal to 
TAC into YC minus YA. So YA plus TAB into YB minus YA plus TAC into YC minus YA is equal to 0. From these two equations, we can get the values of TAB and TAC. And after obtaining these two values, we can get the values of the forces FAB and FAC just by multiplying the tension coefficients with the respective lengths of the members. So FAB will be equal to TAB into LAB and FAC will be equal to TAC into LAC. If you are given a space truss instead of a plane truss, then the length of the member can be obtained by using the equation root of XB minus XA the whole square plus YB minus YA the whole square plus ZB minus LA the whole square. And we will have one more equation that is summation FZ equal to 0. That is equilibrium of the forces along Z direction as well. Let's see how we can analyze this plane truss using the method of tension coefficient. I have already analyzed this truss and found out uh, the magnitude and nature of forces in all the members using the method of joint in one of the previous videos. So you can watch that uh, video in order to have a clear understanding of the method of joint. In this video, I'll uh, show how to implement the method of tension coefficient at this joint A. And uh, if you understand this uh, very well, you can apply the same to other joints and uh, find out the rest of the unknown forces. Considering the equilibrium of the entire frame, we'll have summation MA equal to 0, summation FH equal to 0 or summation FX equal to 0 and summation FV equal to 0 or summation FY equal to 0. Summation FH is equal to 0 is nothing but uh, the equilibrium of the forces along the horizontal direction and summation F equal to 0 is the equilibrium of the forces along the vertical direction. Uh, now, if we consider summation MA equal to 0, we will have minus RD into 4 plus 60 into 2 plus 50 into 2 plus 1 that is 3 plus 40 into 1 is equal to 0, right? So, from this, we can get the value of RD or YD. So, RD equal to YD, which is equal to 16 into 2 plus 15 into 3 plus 40 into 1 by 4, which is equal to 77.5 kilo Newton. Now, here we have a hinged joint. So, there will be horizontal reaction as well at joint A. So, let that horizontal reaction be HA. Now, if we uh, uh, look at the entire frame, we can see that we do not have any other horizontal forces at any of the other joints. So, if we consider summation FH equal to 0, we will get HA equal to 0. Now, on considering the equilibrium of the forces along Y direction or vertical direction, we will have RA plus RD minus 60 minus 40 minus 50 is equal to 0. And uh, we already obtained the value of Rd. So, Ra will be equal to, Ya will be equal to 40 plus 50 plus 60 minus 77.5 which is equal to 72.5 kilo Newton. Here all are equilateral triangles. So, uh, the sides of each member A, B, A, E, B, E, B, C, C, E, C, D, E, D will be equal to 2 meters and the height of each triangle will be equal to root of 2 square minus 1 square which is equal to 1.732 meters. If we consider this joint A as the origin, coordinates of uh, joint A will be 0, 0. Uh, coordinates of joint B will be 1, 1.732. 1 that of uh, C will be 3, 1.732. Uh, that of uh, D will be 4 comma 0 and finally the coordinates of joint E will be 2 comma 0. Let's analyze this joint A. Considering the equilibrium of the forces along Y direction at this joint A, we will have YA plus TAB into YB minus YA is equal to 0. Where YA is the vertical reaction present at this joint A. And TAB into YB minus YA is the vertical component of the force FAB. So, RA plus TAB into YB minus YA is equal to 0. Now, we have uh, RA is equal to 72.5 kilo Newton and uh, YB is equal to 1.732 meters and YA is equal to 0 meters. Therefore, substituting these values, we get it as 72.5 plus TAB into 1.732 minus 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, TAB is equal to minus 
72.5 by 1.732 which is equal to minus 41.859. Therefore, FAB that is force in the member AB will be equal to TAB into LAB which is equal to minus 41.859 into 2 because LAB is equal to 2 meters which is equal to minus 83.72 kilonewton. So, since it is negative, we can say that the force in the member FAB is compressive or the member FAB is under compression. On considering the equilibrium of the forces along x direction, we will have summation fx equal to 0 which implies xA plus TAB into xB minus xA plus TAE into xA minus xA is equal to 0 where xA is the horizontal reaction at A, TAB into XP minus XA is the horizontal component of the force FAB and TAE into XC minus XA is the force FAE expressed in terms of the tension coefficient TAE and summation of all these forces will be equal to 0. Here XA that is the horizontal reaction at A is 0, XB that is the X coordinate of B is 1 meters, XA is 0 x e is 2 meters and uh, substituting all these values in this equation we will get 0 plus t a b into 1 minus 0 plus t a e into 2 minus 0 is equal to 0. So, from this equation we can get the value of t a e. So, t a e is equal to minus t a b by 2 which is equal to minus of minus 41.859 by 2 which is equal to 20.93. Therefore, FAE will be equal to TAE into LAE which is equal to 20.93 into 2 which is equal to 41.859 kilonewton and it will be tensile. Similarly, you can analyze the other joints and find out the rest of the unknown forces. Please do like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.